Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden. Today we're back with more new Pliny. This is Flamingo. Alright guys, so this is another new uh, Pliny track uh, off of Sunhead, the EP, which just came out uh, not too long ago actually. So we checked out the uh, song Kine, Salt and Charcoal, now we're up to Flanua, and then we'll have to check out Sunhead another time, the actual song Sunhead. Uh, this song features on piano and synths Anomaly, or Anomaly, uh, it kind of looks like it's written in French, uh, with the uh, IE for the end, it usually is French I do believe, maybe it's not, but just for me anyways, I'm not really seeing it, and uh, John Wog, or Wog, uh, either or on saxophone or saxophone in this one. Interesting. I love uh, saxophones, one of my favorite wind instruments, so that has me excited. Plus, there's synths and piano in here. Mm -hmm. There's usually piano, but it doesn't usually say, uh, doesn't usually say, uh, uh, synth, so let's check it out. Okay. Jazzy. Okay, this is might be something new. It's really jazzy. Of course, there's that that fat bass I'll describe it as that has been going through all the other songs as well. Man, that's so jazzy. That's really cool. I'm loving that. Well, there's the build up from going out of jazz into the more Pliny style. This is really cool so far. There's that, that build up that you always expect to hear from Pliny. Drums are killing it. Drummer's killing it. I think it's Chris. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jazz Fusion. Oh, it sounds like fucking... It sounds like Snarky Puppy. That's badass. Holy shit. Woo! Woo! Oh, man. Oh, this might be my new favorite Pliny song right here. Not just like Snarky Puppy, that's badass. Going back towards that Pliny style though, you can hear it in the background along with the sax. Beautiful. Beautiful. Comes that build up again. This is such a good track. Holy shit.
Wow. Wow. 100% my new favorite bleeding track. And probably my favorite song I've heard in a long time. Hands down. Ooh. Heaviness comes back from that bass. Simon killed it on the bass on, on this EP. That tone is monstrous. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. What a good combo. Not the end. Oh wow, it's not even the end yet. I thought that was how it was going to end, but it's still a whole minute. Wow. What a hell of a way to go out on the song. At least that's the way it seems to be going. That's such a groove. Oh, that groove. Is that where you got your last name, Simon? Is that where Groove, Simon Groove came from? Because just murdered the groove on that one at the end. Holy shit. That just blew me away. I was not expecting... Uh, any jazz elements at all the jazz fusion thrown in here oh my god mixed with Pliny's you know typical style of prog metal uh, instrumental uh, you know obviously his his genre can spread between a lot of things but uh, just to keep it uh, for explanation's sake you know going from that and mixing in the jazz fusion and, and going back and forth between them plays off each other so well it's so well done this track I'm, I'm still kind of like blown away how good this track was. This is definitely my favorite track uh, so far that I've heard this year. My favorite Pliny track of all time as of right now. That was just beautiful. Beautifully well done. Um, so as the first comment here says this is the best Pliny song. I agree completely and I'm not the only one that picked up on the snarky puppy uh, sound that went on there at one part. Uh, so it says if Snarky Puppy was digent. Um, I also agree with that statement. There's a few elements that, if you guys don't know who Snarky Puppy is, we checked them out one time on the channel. We did uh, we did Lingus because I wanted to show it to everyone. It was one of the reactor's choices, and uh, they're one of those huge jazz fusion bands that are have been around for the last uh, few years. Anyway, they've been pretty big. Uh, more than a few years, I guess. I've been around for a little while anyway, but more modern uh, jazz bands there that are just mind-blowing, and you could hear elements of it here. I don't know if Pliny in the group, uh, when they recorded this, knows who Snake Puppy is. Um, obviously into jazz, so it, it's highly possible. They're pretty big. Uh, Snake Puppy is well-known if you jump into jazz, and they're pretty easy to find out, uh, especially nowadays. Uh, maybe that's where that influence came from. I'm not sure, but... Uh, it was definitely here. It sounded just like it. If it wasn't intentional, it, it was pretty. It was pretty close. It was. It, it was. It fit really well with Pliny's signature style as well. So I'm super pumped. The fact that they went with a jazz style on this one, jazz fusion, pretty much. Blown away. Just blown away. That's the best way to describe this for me. I loved every part of that from start to finish. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to go check out more Pliny if you enjoyed that. This man continuously blows me away with his music, so I highly suggest going and checking out his YouTube channel, checking out some more of his music if you've been enjoying it as much as I have. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you want to see more videos from me. I'm also on Patreon if you like to support the channel. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.